Welcome to Dubno. As you can see, winter came. We just arrived. <laughs> Here's the first fall almost of the day. Oh man. <laughs> okay, check out this amazing Taras Bulba statue. Now he's a fictional character based on real life events when the Cossacks tried retaking their own land back from the Polish right here in Dubno, which culminated into a grand battle between the Cossacks and the Poles, the Cossack victory. Heroin Slava. Heroin Slava, glory to the heroes. Well, everything's so pretty now with the snow. It's just happened in the last couple days in Ukraine. So we're gonna check out a few things here. Castle, we're gonna head there now. So here we go. Dubno. I'm for sure gonna fall more than three times today. Icy. Oh. Base relief. Here's another one. We got a little bit of old history there, and we got a little bit of Soviet history here. Here we are at the Biatka Veja. It's about minus six, it's not too cold, but cold enough. So yeah, at one time where I'm standing, this would have been all water. It's been diverted now. Dubno is about, well, close to a thousand years old now. 921. So there's a lot of history here going from the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth to the Poles. Cossacks, Russians. Seen many battles here and it still stands, most of it. It's been destroyed, of course, over the years and rebuilt, but we're still here. Look at this, standing in the old moat of Dubno Castle. Look how big these stones are here. So yeah, this castle is known in the annals of time for when Taras Bulba's army, his Cossack army, was retaking Ukrainian lands from the Poles, culminating in a huge battle here at Dubno Castle. This castle has withstood. From down here, this is uh, a lot more spectacular than from up there. Cold. I'm trying not to complain about it because I know back in Canada, it's minus 21 right now, so. Very nice, minus six.
So that's the moat I just walked through. Man, this is a bigger moat than it looks on paper. All right, let's go in. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. I really want to go under into the depths of the castle. Find me some dungeon stuff, some torture racks. Pit zemla? Da. Davai pit zemla. Yeah, so there's people there right now. And I don't know if I'm allowed to have the camera there. So I'm hiding in a dungeon. Not sure if I can film here, but I'm gonna try. Okay, so this is what I wanna see here. Check out this torture chair. Imagine sitting in that. Of course, I get the guillotine. Well, you can easily guess what that was used for. Interesting on how every diagram, it's a picture of a woman being tortured. where they would burn witches at the stake. Oh, I can go in there. Oh, duh. So this is where they'd come burn witches at the stake in this little room here.
Are you okay? Are you okay? I haven't seen Tanya in about five minutes, so she might be scared and hiding. Yeah, I think it's a bit strange. Yeah, it's a bit strange. Yeah, it's a bit Place they'd hang you from there. Place they cut your head off there. Oh, this one would hurt. This one would hurt. Just imagine. I got a sore back right now. This one looks like it might actually be kind of good. There's more places to go yet, but this dungeon is finished. So the castle, it's split by, I guess, three mansions. On the one side, Lubomirsky Palace, and on the other side, Ostrowski Palace. And the main one, where we walk in at the entrance, was the garrison. So I believe this one here I'm coming up to is Lubomirsky, named after princes, princes of, uh, Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, people that owned this land at one time. Lubomirskis and the Ostrowski. That may be them. Oh, well, number two, almost fell there. Number two, that's it. I got no more passes. Ukraine, beautiful country, nature, history. Ukraine's got it all, man.
This kind of looks like the underground passage leading from the palace underground here. Maybe a little bit of an escape. Maybe this is a stable actually where they kept the animals. Hard to say. Можливо, тварин. Я думаю. Ні, під землею тварини я не думаю. Тварин або, можливо, ні, я думаю, можливо, тварин. Там до палец, там до вулиця. I think this is the stable. Oh, check it out. <clears throat> I was just gonna say how clean it's been. Man, today to the eyes. Almost fell. Oh, okay, I didn't die. Third time and I still live. I don't know about a fourth. If that time comes, how lucky I'll be. So this is Biatke Veja, the very first tower I showed. We're gonna go up on top of it now. I want to go to the corner here, the corner of the Gyatka Veja. So this is where the fighters would have been, the bows and arrows, the all the battles, these corners. Maybe they'd have been coming in on boats. Who knows, look out guys on the corner. People up here manned with cannons and, oh wow, what a view from here. Mighty Ikva Rechka. The little Pushka. Can't go in here. Why would they not let me go in here? Well, of all places, why wouldn't they let you go in the corner of the Veja, the corner of the tower? A bummer. down there. My guess is this is where they would have uh, stored the Onam in the veg. all these inscriptions here recent nothing historic here anymore you know at Sasha Sasha Aki at Sasha Aki I don't think comes from historic past Sophia Batya 
Kremenitz. Kremenitz. Another very beautiful city that I'll be going to very soon. Kremenitz, very cool castle there. All right. Wow, what a beautiful view from here though of the Ikvarichka.